brief. You're watching NBC 23. Now, Valley Sports Central from the VTX1 Sports Desk. Hey there, hope you're having a great start to your Friday morning. St. Joseph tennis star Fran Gomez had quite the high school resume. A three-time state champ in TAPS, Gomez now heads to the collegiate level. Fran signing his letter of intent with UTRGV yesterday afternoon. As a kid, it was always Fran's dream to continue his tennis career. Now he'll trade in the Bloodhound Red for the Vaquero Orange and White, a fit he believes will help him continue to grow in the sport he loves. I think it's a great opportunity to play, and since it's a, it's a D1, I, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to have a lot of competition and a lot of a, a great experience. Hopefully I can play in the lineup, if it's not this year, maybe next year, but yeah, just do a good job and practice every day and get along with my teammates and all the coaches over there. Congrats to the three-time state champ once again, and V's up. And that's a look at sports. Well, happening today, there will be a burial for an unaccompanied U.S. Army veteran Charles G. Cook. Now, the burial will take place at the Rio Grande Valley State Veterans Cemetery on Inspiration Road in Mission. Uh, Cook's burial will start at 2 p.m. and is open to the public and veterans who would like to bury a fallen soldier. And happening tomorrow, Edinburgh Parks and Rec is throwing a special Daddy and Me event to celebrate Father's Day. It's happening at the Edinburgh Municipal Pool from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. There will be games, music, raffles, and more. Uh, call Edinburgh Parks and Rec to register. The event is free. And then happening tomorrow uh, uh, as well, the Food Bank of the Rio Grande Valley is going to hold a food distribution event. It's going to be held at the Sanchez Family Ranch in San Juan from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. or until supplies last. Two families per car will be allowed. You will need to have proof of ID with you and you must be a San Juan resident. Also happening tomorrow, the City of Edinburgh will host their 31st Annual Juneteenth Celebration. Now it's going to be held at the Edinburgh City Hall starting at 5.30 p.m. Celebrations will continue at the food, with food truck parks uh, off of 7th Avenue at 7 p.m. There will be carnival rides, live music, soul music, and a lot more. Uh, for more information on joining the fun, you can visit edinburgharts.com. All right, and here's what's coming up right after NBC 23 on the Today Show. Good morning, Craig. Good morning to you. Coming up here on today, extreme weather from coast to coast, flooding, wildfires, and the season's next major heat wave. Mr. Roker standing by to track all of it and the impact it could have on Father's Day weekend. Also ahead, our inside look at a beloved royal event. Tomorrow's Trooping the Color and how it could change amid the King and Princess Kate's health battles. Plus, we're live at this morning's opening of Universal Orlando's highly anticipated DreamWorks land. And then one of our favorite traditions, Al, Carson, Willie, and I, we all got together ahead of Father's Day, and this year's adventure involved a classic car, some pizza, and a pretty good conversation on dad life. We'll have that and more.